Can I just ask you, chaps, can you bring us up to speed in a, five seconds? Where is Theresa May? Is she still dead, buried, clinging on for dear life? Is there now a narrative that actually she may cling on for dear life? She's not a quitter. No, but she's a bit worse than she was because she made that statement she's going to go on once to fight the next general election. Just ain't going to happen. You're more likely to see Arsenal win the Premier League. Thank you. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry, in personal grief and all that. Uh, no, she's, she's trying to talk a good game, but you can feel power slipping away. But she's going to cling on. You know, they're going to have to get a fingernails, you know, scraping down the door of number 10 to get her out. When well, Angie, she could not, wow. she could hardly say, I'm not going to fight the next election. <laughs> exactly. Right? It's one of those questions yeah, that yeah. journalists ask, no, I know. she doesn't win whatever I she know. says. I know, because if she says no, then she's a lame duck and we're counting days to how long she goes. She will be there right through the Brexit process and she'll probably go six months to a year afterwards. She knows that MPs don't want her to fight the next election as Prime Minister. And do you know what? I don't think she wants to either. I'm not sure her, she's enjoying it well, anyway. Well, the problem for her, I think, at the moment is you've got her looking completely downbeat all the time mm. and miserable, like the job's killing her. Yeah. Meanwhile, the biggest sort of issue of our lifetime, really, mm. Brexit being led by David Davis, who looks very chipper, very positive, always smiling, always like, you know, yeah. looking like he's basically running the country. Well, uh, he's, he's having a good time. He's enjoying himself. I spoke to him the other day. He's very bullish. Yeah. And he thinks, actually, the tactics of the EU in laying down the law and, uh, and bullying us, are uh, the, the blackmail uh, is backfiring and that the British public are getting fed up with it. He I think they are. No, David Davis wants her job. Mm. That's why he's smiling. You know, if one's down, another's up. And that's what's happening Why shouldn't here. he have her job? He might get it. He seems to be exuding more leadership to me yeah. than she is. No, but don't uh, mistake leadership, though, for, uh, for, for results. At the moment, he's getting nowhere in the negotiations with the other 27. He agreed to their timetable, which was a strategic mistake. And until he gets over this question of the divorce bill, Northern Ireland, EU, EU citizens living in Britain, he's not going to get on to his trade talk. So he might, he might go around smiling, uh, but it doesn't mean he's getting anywhere. In a survey... Um, I was came out yesterday, mm -hmm. it suggested that more people want Boris Johnson to take over and be a leader of the Conservative Party and perhaps be the next Prime Minister. But there is also this character, mm -hmm. Jacob Rees-Mogg, that people talk about in political circles, which I'm not sure sort of expands beyond that. But who is Jacob well, Rees-Mogg and could he be the next Prime his Minister? His nickname is the Tory MP for the 17th century mm. because he's somewhat old-fashioned. Uh, he he ch chastised me once for writing a piece saying when he went campaigning in a Scottish seat in 2001 where he had no hope, he went with his nanny in the family Rolls-Royce. The only thing a party objected to in that story was it wasn't the family Rolls Royce, it was the family Daimler. But <laughs> Nanny <laughs> was with him campaigning, and Nanny is still with him. She's been with the family for 52 What's years. What's wrong with that? She, no, nothing at all. She changes the nappy of the new child, Sixtus, because he's got six kids. He's a Roman Catholic after all. And uh, and Boris is and sorry, Jacob is very proud of that. He's never changed a child's nappy, never will. What he's he does very have, old fashioned. What he does have, I've done question time with him. Yeah. And he was very uh -huh. popular. Yeah, yeah. They what like what him. he does have for a conservative on question time, he yeah, went yeah. down very well. It's just yeah. unusual, as we know. Yeah. Well, there we go. That suggests his appeal is broader. It does. But, but yeah. Here's what I say about him. Is he, he's very, very good on, on camera. He's very funny. He's very eloquent. Boris also is funny on mm -hmm. camera. People like characters. The problem for Theresa May is that people think she's completely devoid of any character. Oh, she is. She's a, she's a, you know, a, a cold fish, isn't she? Uh, and you know, she's going around being miserable is what keeps her cheerful. And somebody like Jacob Rees-Mogg, you can imagine him with his monocle on. He comes from a, a nicely privileged background. He's incredibly wealthy. But we must be careful of not treating him as a bit of a joke like we did yeah. Boris Johnson yeah. because inside is a quite a dangerous right winger. Mm. There is a man who's voted to withhold pay rises for nurses. He voted to have the bedroom tax on people with no money. He has swallowed the entire austerity agenda, which has reduced living standards. It's caused a lot of hardship for, for people. And he hasn't got any of the answers for Britain going forward okay. in the it, 21st it, century. Let me ask you this, Kevin, just yeah. on, on the wider point of Brexit. Mm. I mean, the leadership battle may or may not happen, mm. right? But what is happening is Brexit. Yeah. On the Labour's position, so in the last week or so, they've cemented a new yeah. position, <laughs> which seems to at least be playing out quite well for them as a position that's distinct from the government. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Labour was all over the place. More Still positions is. than the Karma Sutra. They now decide <laughs> that in the transition period, we're coming out of the European Union, you have to try and stay in the single market and the customs union because we do so much trade in there. And people's jobs and livelihoods, businesses depend on that. 
Labour's got a far more settled position and could no. go into those negotiations because it knows what it's asking for. While David Davis and the government, we don't know what they're asking a for. So how can on, you get Kevin, what you don't even know you a want? A few days it's, after no, this so-called so settled position, Tom Watson, the deputy Labour leader, changed the position again. He said, we will stay in the single market, but beyond a transitional period, no, perhaps didn't. indefinitely. Yes, he, he, he said, did. He said could. Yes, he did. He said could. These so are they the changed the position. Now, He's changed the position you're again. You're misrepresenting Labour are all over the place, and you're deliberately not taking advantage. Mm. He's the deputy leader of the Labour Party. He's a very important player. See, the yeah. other thing I would say about uh, leadership is that mm. Keir Starmer, again, yeah. it may well be that the two people that lead the Brexit debate for the respective mm. parties end up running their party. No, that's, that's right. That's a real he's, I think he's quite impressive, Keir Starmer. He, he is. I, th I think he'll, he's going to face a lot of opposition from some very good women in, uh, mm. in Labour, but there's no doubt he, he fancies his chances. Former director of public prosecutions, incredibly capable. But in one way, given that Brexit and the negotiations are probably the most important of our lifetimes and everybody watching, if you get a good deal or you do well, you could see why you would be on the podium yeah. uh, and in an ideal place to take over. Our it's a big test for both. But are uh, Labour Starmer MPs and, and, and Labour members really going to vote for a leader called Sir Keir Starmer? There's never been a knight of the realm who's led Keir the Labour Party. Of the great there names hasn't in the been of a knight. Of, in See, none, Keir, is a, down Keir is a name that Douglas melts Hugh. the hearts of every Labour member. Keir voter. Starmer is named, Sir Keir. is named after Keir Hart. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Knight of the realm. Big it's like being called Winston if you're a Tory. And he doesn't like people reminding him he's a knight of the realm. Keir Starmer is a working class lad made good, which is why you don't like it.